Welcome back to Packard Shutter. In this video, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the range of what we make. Um, I have here uh, six different shutters. Starting here in the center, I have a one and a half inch. This is the smallest shutter we make. Uh, this is a one and a half inch. It's got metal blades. It's a number six. This is my demo unit that I carry around to show people what, what the shutters do. But it's got instantaneous mode. If we pull the pin out, it's bulb mode. Um, Got to those, never mind what that is. Um, but it's it's specially made so that I can work it manually rather than using a bulb, so I don't have to carry a bulb around. But so this is my demo unit. If you ever run into me someplace, I'll probably have this with me. Um, the next one we have, this is from 1950, so it's 68 years old. It is a number six synchro. It's got the old style where they used to build their own. Uh, switch internally. Uh, now we use a Honeywell micro switch because it's a lot more, it's a lot simpler and it's uh, a lot easier to build and more reliable. Um, but this is a number six. It's got the pin, it goes in through the back and it'll do instantaneous. Um, it's got plastic blades and I think I rebuilt this one and put new blades in it. Um, then we have three, three and a half inch uh, shutters that I built. These are all brand new. I built them just for this video and for a couple of others. I've got a number five, which is just bulb mode, open, close. Then I've got a number six, which let me pull a pin and drop a pin in. Um, it's got instantaneous. It wants to work better vertically and when the pin's not in, it works just fine vertically, but um, not so much horizontally. It's, uh, it's when you get into the bigger sizes, you almost have to go to metal blades, which we'll see with this one. So this is a number six, uh, three and a half inch. This is a three and a half inch number six synchro. And because of the synchro and some geometry things that go on inside, this one has metal blades. Um, they are aluminum. Uh, we had to do that to, to maintain the rigidity where when I was actuating this one, it, one of the blades was flexing a little bit. This one, on the other hand, it's a little louder because it's um, metal blades, but it's also, they're more rigid and, oh, that, that went through, there we go. Um, and it will, uh, I'll do another video de uh, demonstrating this one, but this one is a, it has a flash synchronization on it. That's what this wire is for. Um, so that you can synchronize it with whatever flash. Then finally, we have a seven inch number five electric. This is a 24 volt solenoid. I can make it work uh, without the solenoid just by running it manually. Runs off 24 volt DC, really designed to run vertically, not horizontally. Um, but this is also a brand new shutter. Seven inch is not the biggest we make. Um, I have uh, parts to make eight inch shutters um, and information about making eight and a half inch shutters. And according to company history, um, we have made up to 11 inch shutters. So uh, the, 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 the geometry scales and we can make larger shutters as needed. Um, but this is kind of a good representation of the range of sizes of products that uh, Packard Ideal Shutter Company currently manufactures. That's it. Um, check us out on the website. Give me a call if you have questions or email me or, uh, you know, want to talk about cameras. The contact information is at the end of the video. Thanks.